This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games, who just launched a brand new website. They're also giving viewers of Tantrum House a special deal. Just use Tantrum 10 during checkout, and you'll save 10% on the price of your games. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're looking at board games launching the second half of September 2020 on Kickstarter. Let's get started. I mentioned Embarcadero from Renegade Game Studios in my last video, but they pushed the date to September 15th. This is where you are building San Francisco on the hulls of different ships and carving out a foothold in the city council. These next few also launch on September 15th. Bots Up, it's a competitive card game for two to five players. Uh, lasts about 20 to 30 minutes. Players build a bot each using spare part cards of varying strength upgrading them and sending them into battle. The battle phase involves drawing and playing battle cards, which can, among other things, damage opponents' bots, heal, and strengthen your own, spy on other players' hands, and much more. Players continue to trade blows, turning part cards over when their health falls to zero. The winner's crown when one bot remains with any live parts. Escape Death Race 2182 Micro is for one to four players, takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play. The galaxy has been taken hostage by an evil alien race known as the Zillion. Moving through obstacles like fire zones and hazards, seeking and destroying three sub-bosses before taking on the final boss. You can engage your fellow racers in drive-bys and battle it outs. And you can choose from six characters with different special abilities. Forgotten Depths for one to three players takes about 45 to 135 minutes to play. This is a co-op dungeon adventure game combining unique tile laying and hand management mechanics to deliver a quick playing but substantial experience of exploration and combat. The goal of the game is to get to the bottom of the dungeon and destroy the powerful entity that resides there. Improving your heroes by finding items and buying new abilities with experience points you gain by exploring. The game has three dungeon levels, each with their own unique monsters, features, and hard to find legendary locations. On September 20th, we'll see Night Parade of a Hundred Yokai raising an army of supernatural beings to haunt the islands of Japan. CJ Games launches Galactic Era. The age of discovery in space. Explore mysterious worlds and colonize them. Develop your civilization in five different areas. Gain epic and unparalleled powers from them. Choose from 15 different races and decide to play them in service of the light or the dark side. As a civilization of light, you have high moral standards. You must be mostly peaceful. The population you meet will love you and gladly join your alliance. On the dark side, however, you have the freedom to be as aggressive as you want. Will you lead the galaxy to darkness or light? The choice is yours. Pre-order your copy of Galactic Era and support us to make this dream come true. Pandasaurus Games launches a Kickstarter campaign for Dinosaur World and a roll and write game called Dinosaur Island Rar and Write. The Dinosaur World game is for two to four players, takes about one to two hours to play. The triumph of science has led dinosaurs to return to the world once more and it has become public knowledge. New parts spring up regularly, often beginning operations even before everything has been finalized. There's no shortage of patrons eager to be entertained by these returned species in new and exciting ways. Serious Pulp launches The Seventh Citadel. This is a co-op exploration game in a dark medieval fantasy world. It's for one to four players. It takes about five to 1,000 minutes to play. You can play this solo or co-op as a choose-your-own-adventure exploration board game, choosing your character and beginning your adventure on your own or with a team of other explorers. You will discover the extent of this wild new land through a variety of terrain and event cards. In a land fraught with danger and wonders, you have to use every ounce of wit and cunning to survive. Craft tools, weapons, and shelter to ensure your survival. 
Rock Manor Games launches Set a Watch Swords of the Coin for one to four players. It takes about 60 to 75 minutes to play. This is both a standalone game for one to four players and an expansion that can be combined with the original co-op game. Pendragon Game Studio launches The Thing The Board Game. This is inspired by the 1982 movie The Thing. Machina Arcana to Eternity. You travel the unknown, face the horrors, and survive the story. An immersive and dark experience awaits your group of explorers. On, on September 23rd, Bad Comic Games launches Shiolia Great Houses. This is an expansion to Shiolia. They're offering a lot of new content with the expansion that it will allow you to pursue tons of new strategies and play styles. On September 25th, we'll see Dangerous, a game for two to three players. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. The end of the world is at hand. You need to prepare for the right kind of apocalypse. There are 12 prophecy tokens. There are two of each of five kinds of apocalypse symbols, virus, nuclear war, robot uprising. There's a preparation phase and apocalypse phase. The true prophecies are revealed one by one and each time a player must play two cards. If the prophecy is a symbol, cards with the same symbol score positively and all others count as negative points. These next few launch on September 29th. Kitten Kaiju Games launches 30 Seconds to Live, game for two players. It takes about 15 to 35 minutes to play. This is a competitive zombie card game. A lone survivor has run from zombies into an alley seeking refuge. Unfortunately, the alley is at a dead end and all the doors are securely locked. The only hope for the hero is to get back to the street, but the zombies have started pouring into the alley and stand between the hero and their freedom. We'll see an expansion to Fantastic Factories called Manufactions. It introduces factions, new blueprints, contractors, and vitamins. We'll see Big Monster, where you're collecting adorable monsters in real time to win together with your team. For two to six players, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. This has card drafting, set collection, and tile laying. On your turn, players choose a tile from your hand place it face down in front of them, then immediately give their remaining tiles to another player of their choice who hasn't already been given tiles. At the end of the game, you'll have 18 tiles in your exploration space, and you're going to be earning victory points by finding monsters, completing crystals, and achieving missions. That's a you problem, where you'll get resources by drawing and trading cards, solving problems using resources and getting points, using special cards to help your game, and ruin your opponent's game. Win by reaching the goal or getting the highest score at the end of the game. Horrible Guild said that they were pushing their launch back of Dungeon Fighter to September 29th. We'll see Airships North Pole Quest the game. We'll see an expansion to Windward called Treacherous Skies. This is from El Dorado Games, becoming the most notorious sky captain by harnessing the wind, hunting leviathans, and plundering opponents. On September 30th, DTDA Games launches Apogee for 1-5 to five players. It takes about 45-60 to 60 minutes to play. For several decades, a private space flight industry has emerged operating independently of governments. Develop space flight faster, cheaper, meet commercial challenges in this new movement. Recruiting engineers, developing technologies, and building your rocket in the hope to launch this mass of several tons from the ground beyond the Earth's atmosphere. A quick shout out to one of our series sponsors, GameFound. They are a free to use pledge manager. You can find out more about them at GameFound.com. Some of the board games that Tantrum House will be doing videos for from the list here. Embarcadero will be doing a preview video and a live playthrough. You can check that out on our channel soon. Bots Up, the Escape Death Race game, Forgotten Depths, Dinosaur World, Seventh Citadel, uh, the Shiolia expansion, Big Monster, that's a you problem, probably a couple others. So definitely check those out on our channel. One big video that I definitely want to talk to you about right now is our 24-hour gameathon. We're going to be streaming live playthroughs of board games. Uh, we're going to be playing lots of board games from noon Eastern Time, September 18th until noon September 19th, Saturday. So come join us anytime that you're available and come join the stream. We're going to be playing lots of hot games, lots of old games, lots and lots of games. So we'd love for you to join us um, while we're playing those games September 18th, 
September 19th, noon Eastern Time to noon Eastern Time. Thanks for watching this video and love to hear what you guys have been playing in the comments, so let me know. And a big thank you to Meeple Realty, another of our series sponsors here for the Board Games Launching on Kickstarter video. Check out all their cool wooden inserts at MeepleRealty.com.